and welcome to the show, this is Logdot2, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the slash field command in Minecraft Java and Minecraft Bedrock. Before we jump into it, can you press the like button? Can we reach 80 likes today? You know, no, let's up it to 100. Can we reach 100 likes today? I've never reached that, so let's give it our best shot. If you reach it, that'll be amazing. Either way, let's dive straight into the tutorial. And for the tutorial, you're going to need to press escape. Then, you're going to be in your game menu if you did it right. And you're going to see open to LAN right here. Press open to LAN. Allow cheats on. Start LAN world, okay? And now you if you did it right, do T. Then you write slash, which, if you're wondering where slash is, it's right by where you see the question mark. It's the same button. You just have to press shift to put the question mark in. Don't press shift to put the, the slash in. Then you just want to type, okay, well, uh, game. There you go, game mode and game rule. You can see both of those ones there. That's when you know you did it right. So then you're gonna need to get yourself a piece of paper and a pencil to write the coordinates down. So let's dive right into the tutorial on how to do the command. And to do this command, you wanna go to a corner of whatever you're trying to replace or fill or destroy. And you sit right on the corner of it, open your F3 menu, and it's gonna be always a different coordinates for you than me, probably. In my case, it is minus 423, 91, minus 81. So you're going to write that down on your piece of paper. And you're going to make it all separate. Then, you're going to come over to your other corner of it. You want to come all the way up to the top of it, okay? This is the top of it, the area where you want to remove. You want to go exactly even with it. And go as far out as you want to remove. So, for my example, I want to remove it right down to here. So, you know, since I want to remove it down to there, I will stand right here on this block and write down the coordinates which is minus 401, 97, and minus 92. So you type that into your paper. Alrighty. So once you do that, now you know, you know you don't want to, if you're in survival you don't want to be standing right next to it so you know you move away some. Then you go over let me just move my pen, it's going crazy. So you wanna go over and press T. Then you wanna write slash. Okay. Then you wanna go fill then it's gonna have you do your coordinates now it is saying where you are right now you don't want to put those coordinates if you're in minecraft java i'm gonna go minus which is where is minus okay it is right next to the zero then you want to write 423 4 2 3 423 then you're gonna go 91 or whatever coordinates you have then it'll be minus 81 minus 81 then, you're going to go over and just continue typing the second batch of numbers in. So, minus 401, minus 401, 401 I say, come on, it was 4. 401, 97, let's see, boom. And you can fill this with any block you want, except some types of wood. Then, minus 69. No, minus 92, minus 92. Now, you want to go and type in minecraft then you want to put the two dots in like so but come on shift and put two dots in case sapling case sign i guess you could do anything you want in minecraft java in minecraft bedrock edition you are actually uh, limited but you want to just put whatever you want in it so i'll put the block aaron alumum oh uh alum that's what that is but, you know, let's put minecraft aaron there to remove it but you could put you know Activator rails, acacia wood, and site stairs. But I'm gonna put air in it just to show you. Then you're gonna press the enter button. And as you saw there, the mountain got removed. Oh, we got a rose already. But then, let's just say now you wanna go over and fill it up with your favorite type of block. So you wanna go back in there and press the up arrow on your key. You know, the up arrow, the down arrow. And you could see all this last field garbage. Well, you could go back over to here and then let's say acacia sign. Or acacia sapling for one. There you go. We've got acacia saplings. We are lagging the game out, but as you see there, we've gotten ourselves a thousand one hundred and ninety-two blocks of acacia saplings. And T uh, no T, then you just go up again. So if that's not what you want to put down, well, you just get rid of those again, and let's say, uh, well, a, a nice acacia underscore wood. And there you go. You got yourself a huge log of acacia -ness. Well, actually, it's not a log. 
that's hilarious. Um, but yeah, I think you got the sheer thing of how it works. And that's how the fuel command works in Minecraft Java, so let's head straight over to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So we're here in Minecraft Bedrock now, and I will show you how to do the duplication glitch. It's exactly the same, but I'm just going to prove it works for you real quickly. To find your coordinate box in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, you're going to press Escape, just like always. Then you're going to go into your settings, and you're going to make sure you're in the game. Then you're gonna come all the way down to this area where it says world options. Show coordinates on. Make sure you have cheats on. And it, even though you have cheats on, you aren't gonna be able to uh, get yourself your achievements and advancements or whatever they're called for some reason. But you know, that's completely fine. But let's head right over to the coordinates for where I'm gonna, well, add some blocks and remove some, so I'll be right back. So, for the Minecraft Bedrock Edition field command, you're gonna wanna make sure you have the, uh, what's it called, the y-axis for the top and the bottom one block higher. Well, at least for the top. Cause, if you are standing at block 90, it will put it up to your hips, okay? So, it will put it up to block 91. So, just keep that in mind, you want to keep it one block lower than you want it to be. So, do the exact same command, okay, it's going to take away this heel right in front of us. And I set it to air, you don't have to type Minecraft dot dot air or anything in this version of Minecraft. Then you just press the send button, and you see there, it gets it gone, just like so. If you want, you know, something else, I don't know, uh... What, okay, what can I do? I'm gonna get some bedrock right there. There you go, got yourself some bedrock. You can do anything your heart desires. If you wanna get yourself water there, or lava for uh, something, I don't know, what you want lava for. A cauldron, what in the world is that? Okay, we'll put a lava cauldron in there. Uh, there you go, and sir. There is no lava cauldrons, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, as you see there, it pretty much works. Then I can just go over and put some lava in there. Sorry for that noise. I'm getting a lot of notifications. But as you see there, it works just fine. But I'll put it back to air. Because I don't want anything else going wrong. And there you go. Problem solved. Cook the cat right there. And it works perfectly for a furnace if you need to use a furnace. I'm going to end off here. And please press the like button. Subscribe if you are new. See y'all next time. Don't die. And bye. Also, I will know if you dislike the video or like it, so do the right thing. Have a nice day.